nice fun little intro for me, Carolina. That's great. I love Carolina's intros. If you've ever been to the show before, it's always like, yeah, I got blackout drunk and put this person on my show. I don't know them. It's always great. Um, who's drinking tonight? Is anybody having a good time? Yeah. Hey, I love booze, man. Ah, it's the best. My mom's from Belgium and my dad's from England, so the first time I ever got drunk, I was a fetus. <laughs> uh, my mom told me. Uh, Heineken, which is classy, I guess. Well, it's important. I don't know. But I'm a happy guy. I've, uh, yeah, she's right. I've been, I've been this happy my whole life, man. This gangly body. Of, oh man, I feel like I look like a scarecrow that secretly friends with all the crows. Like, hey, thanks for visiting. <laughs> but I've been happy my whole life. I just had a birthday. I turned 32. My birthday's on December 26th. Ooh, yeah, day after Christmas, I came half bright. <laughs> That's fun. Does anybody have a December birthday? Does anybody get combo gifts? Yeah, do people know what I'm talking about? Sometimes you get these combo gifts, that, and you're grateful to get anything, obviously, but you get like one thing that's like a little bit of birthday, a little bit of Christmas, a whole lot of don't get your hopes up. <laughs> so, it don't feel bad or anything, because this is my favorite one that I ever got. When I was nine, my whole family pulled together. I'm talking to my mom, my dad, my brothers, and my grandparents, actually. Everybody, for some reason, pulled together to get nine-year-old me a towel. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it made no sense, and don't feel bad, I loved it. I was like, hey, this isn't a face cloth, it's a whole towel. Like, I love it. It's a silver Oh, man, it was wicked. But that's what I mean, there's always a silver lining there. Even when the situation should be sad, I guess, there's always a silver lining. Even though I loved it at nine years old, but I was like, man, a towel, hey, now I got something to dry these tears. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's too sad. Yeah. Uh, people were talking about going home for the holidays and stuff. I went to, back to my hometown. I grew up in Calgary, Alberta. Ooh, population. I guess. I don't, know. I don't know what the stereotypes are. My dad's a horse and my mom's a bunch of denim. <laughs> what you think? Uh, but I love uh, living in Toronto now. And my favorite thing about uh, Toronto is just you get to walk down the street and you get to like catch a snippet of people's conversation and it's enough to make you want to double back and get some context on what people are fighting about, right? Uh -huh. uh, this is horrible, but the first time, like when I first moved to Toronto, I passed a couple fighting and this is awful, I can't believe it. All I heard was the man say to the woman, you know, you could have been beautiful. Was that a thing? What a horrible thing to say. Like your dad being like, oh, I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. Like, Jesus, isn't that nuts? And what a horrible thing that you can't say that to somebody. The only way you can say that to somebody, I thought about it, is if you're their plastic surgeon. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, I've been beautiful. I watched this operation. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Next one's on me. <laughs> yeah. But those little snippets happen all the time. And I thought about it. You can have fun with your own, man, because they, they don't need context. So start planting your own little seeds in people's heads and get them questioning what you're up to. Just say crazy shit. Next time you're in a mall or something, just pull out your phone and be like, Bleh. My dad just sent me a dick pic. <laughs> like, just <laughs> crazy. Like, that'd be fun. <laughs> oh, I had another sex dream about Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> just keep walking. It'd be fun. Uh, one Albertan thing that I, I heard is coming to Ontario, and uh, I hope this happens, man. When I was a kid, like, growing up at construction sites, they have these signs that tell you to slow down, and it's like the saddest sign in the world where it shows a picture of a little kid, and in big letters it's like, Please slow down, my dad works here. Aww, right? As if that's the only thing stopping you from like mowing down these poor blue collar fathers. <laughs> Jesus, I was gonna make an orphan out of you kid, but you're cute, I guess. Like, Jesus. And, and uh, like, I, I used to work on the construction site, and so I've seen a million variations of this sign where they have like, please slow down, my dad works here, and my mom works here, and my grandpa works here, and the best sign for sure, please slow down, my grandma works here. <laughs> so I was like, your grandma's a badass, like, who's this woman? <laughs> right? I want to meet the 75-year-old woman who's like jackhammering and pushing the chicks, like, who's this lady? <laughs> Eating glass out of a bucket, like, all right, working with Rad Ruth over here, this is sick. But I love these signs, and I, I hope they come to Ontario. I hope they make a whole bunch of these signs. I'd love to see a sign that's like, uh, please slow down. Honestly, my entire family works here. And the photo, the whole crew is one Portuguese family. Everyone's like, hey! Everyone's working together. I think that'd be great. Or, uh, this would be way worse, They're like a sign where the kid's like 12 years old, but he's already covered in like tattoos and cigarettes and stuff, and he's like, big letters, it's like, please slow down, the dude who's banging my mom works here. <laughs> 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 
Um, no. <laughs> that sign would get your attention. Uh, okay, I think I have time for one more. I was saying, okay, but uh, I, I don't know if you can tell, I've been speaking English this whole time. <laughs> it's the best. I love this language. Uh, but there's an expression in the English language that blows my mind. I can't believe where people say, hey man, <laughs> more than two shakes in your plane with yourself. <laughs> you ever hear people say this? Douchebags or for anybody that might not know, at the urinal when you finish up, you, you gotta make sure it's dry, right? You're figuring it out. <laughs> cool, yeah. So you gotta shake it like a Polaroid picture, baby. I, I don't know, like, or <laughs> make like your Taylor Swift and shake it off, I guess. <laughs> uh, now, here's the thing that confuses me. I can't do it in two shakes. Can anybody do it in two shakes? That's not, I'm not a wizard. It's not like switch and flick and back to Quidditch. Like, Jesus. Guardian Leviosa. I, I can't do it. I can't even throw a frisbee in two shakes or I don't know. And also, what a terrible place to masturbate. The urinal? Who can masturbate to the urinal? Where your knees quiver and buckle when you fall into the thing. You just missed that. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm going to put my foot down. It, 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 not a good expression. More than two shakes. Some of us take more than two shakes. When your penis is 13 inches, it takes more than two shakes. Hey, 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 you guys are the 